All right, I am going to open the uh, ZBA meeting for July 9th, 2019. Ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. And they move the flag. Can I have gentlemen? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Our applicants are here for a special permit. I'm going to take things out of order because they had stated that a engineer is um, on their way. So I'm going to entertain a motion to approve the minutes for May 29th, 2019. Really? Oh, May 28th, I'm sorry, 2019. Do I have a motion? Yes, I have a motion to approve the minutes. Tim? Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? Yep. All in favor? Yep. Aye. Aye. All right. Bang, 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 bang. Welcome, Charlie. How are you, sir? Not bad, thank you. All right. So I will open the public hearing at 6.03. Uh, we have before us a request for a special permit for 11 Marshview Road, located in the Village Floodplain District. According to our zoning bylaws, Section uh, 6, Chapter C1, pre-existing non-conforming structures or use may be extended, altered, or changed, provided the Board of Appeals grants a special permit and makes a finding that such extension, alteration, or change shall not substantially more detrimental to the general public or butters than the existing non-conforming use. Uh, first of all, do you have your uh, proof of a butter mailing? Is it the one that uh, proves that it was sent out or the receipts that we got back? The receipts. So the receipts from the- Both, both actually. Both. So these are what came back and this is what we sent. Thank yeah, you, right, right, right. The state sent theirs back. <laughs> All right. Every time you deal with the state, it's different. So the board was uh, forwarded your application, but for uh, speed of discussion, if you could just explain what you're planning to do for the board. Uh, yeah, so we are trying to bring up to code the, the pre-existing non-conforming structure that we have in the property and build a, a small cabin, three season cabin, for us to be able to enjoy the property. And what's there uh, currently? What's on, the, on what's on the property now? Correct. Um, it's a structure that has town water, power, um, and I don't know the exact measurements of the existing one right now. Eight by ten. It's uh, eight by ten. So there's toilet, sink, power, refrigerator, and we're looking to expand on that. And do you have any plans for that, or? Uh, we do. I believe they. Hopefully, they were submitted. So I 20, did not get anything for that. Twenty no. by thirty. It's a twenty by thirty. Um, Structure. That's what you want to replace? Yes. Oh, no, no, that's what we want to uh, build. Yeah. And currently the structure is? Uh, I believe 8 by 10. Have you approached conservation? Uh, we have, and there was some discussion on contacting the DEP. Um, and that basically DEP sent us back to saying that we just need to apply for the ZBA as it was a local matter, not a state matter. So you do not have an order conditions for the property? I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't think so. If that they haven't gone through anything? If that would come from the state, the answer is no. That would come from the ZBA? I mean, from the uh, conservation? You would meet with them and they would <coughs> basically lay out what you would have to do for that property? That we do not have that. So I think we might have put the cart before the horse, like um, Mr. Thomo described, but we were under a time crunch to get this. Well, the only thing I could think of is to postpone it for a few days or whatever. If the guy shows up, maybe with the plans. I don't think that's going to do it. You ever see a conservation commission make a finding within two days? Well, that meeting is next Tuesday. Do they have an application before you? No. And that takes a while. Do you request that it's submitted in advance or? 
a, a certain number of days in advance yeah. so you can review it. So what do you guys want to do? I'd like to see the engineer first. Maybe give him a couple of minutes more. Because so, uh, wait. I can give him a couple minutes. All right. You have a phone number? Yeah. Can I step out? All right. Definitely. Yeah. We re recess. Oh, he just called and said that. What do you say? So we're going to recess at six oh seven and reconvene when he arrives. And obviously we don't want to dis discuss the matter. Correct. It's a nice layout for a camper that was there. You put a bigger camper on there too. <clears throat> the pads are all there. Pardon? That could be. That could be. That's my apologies. Yeah, put him in the middle. Oh no, I'll put him next to you. I don't want to be I'm scared of you. <laughs> Justifiably. <laughs> and your name, sir? Yeah. I'll get it. All right. Keith Titula, T Y K E I K E I T H T Y T U L A T Y T U L A. Yep, from Minuteman Engineering. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, we open the meeting, reconvene at 6 08. Uh, we are joined by Keith Taitula from Minuteman Engineering. Um, the question was so, my question, I guess, first and foremost, were you the individual that was emailing back and forth in regards to the permit for the ZBA? Yes. On behalf of the applicants? Okay. Yes. Um, We had discussed the fact that there was no um, application to conservation. The, uh, we submitted a uh, an RDA, a request for determinant of applicability. Uh, the date that we submitted that was I'm sorry. Need a plan with the RDA. Yep, we submitted a plan. This is what the problem is. See the mailbox over there? Uh, we didn't submit it at the mail, but we, we submitted it at the meeting. We went to, we went to the meeting, submitted it. Uh, and that was at the CONCOM meeting on June... Uh, April 16th, 2019. Kenny, what have you done with that? Nothing. Nothing's been addressed. No, because we didn't have a, a, a request for determination to uh, uh, send a copy to the FEMA because we wanted to get a plan. They told us to have a set the uh, the uh, board of health to come up with a plan. So I don't know if they submitted a request to the board of health for a plan. Mike says no. That no. That that would that would be premature to uh, to do a uh, park test and uh, uh, be, because in order to submit for the notice of intent, we would have to have a construction plan. You know, aside to the foundation, location of the foundation, uh, and the location of the uh, septic system, uh, and obviously it'd be premature to do that until we get the ZBA's conditions because we don't know. You know in case we get, if we, if we do get this permit, this special permit tonight, we don't know where the building's going. You could say, we don't want it 70 feet back, we, or, or, you know, we, we don't want it 80 feet back, we want it 40 feet back, and so forth. So, so it would be premature to, uh, to, uh, uh, to submit a, uh, a septic plan or a notice of intent. But we, we did submit the, uh, the request for determination of applicability. Um, but we know that we're going to uh, have to file a notice of intent anyway, just because of the uh, uh, location of the uh, uh, the bordering vegetative wetlands in the uh, proximity of the river. Do you have an elevation of the floodplain? Do I have one with me? No, I, I mean, did you, did you do that already? 
No, because it'd be premature. I, we know we know we're in the flood. We know we're in the flood know, plan. I know that, but it's just yes. an elevation as to what you have to deal with uh, to come up out of the ground if you get the permit. Right. How many feet? And if it's going to be a human for human habitation, it has to be two feet above the top of the flood. Right. 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 Uh, right. It, 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 we're going to be. You know, it's going to conform to the Massachusetts Building Code uh, with respect to uh, building in a floodplain, as, as far as having the mechanicals above the floodplain, having the the first floor above, above the floodplain. Uh, having a uh, a, uh, a still uh, a pier foundation. So I, I withdraw my previous statement that we put in the car before the horse. He is correct that he needs to know what our desire is going to be before he can lay that out. Um, how do you guys want to move forward? Doesn't uh, Brookfield have a bylaw about building a house in a floodplain that requires a septic system? Well, the septic system would have to be approved by the Board of Health. First. The, the, the conditions would have to be approved by conservation. They have a lot of hurdles to jump. I thought the bylaw said no, period, that there weren't any for, hurdles to jump. That, that's, it just that's, says no. If I, if I, I believe that that's for a new construction, and this is, alternate, is, this is alternating a, uh, pre a pre existing which uh, is that's structure. That's, that's, that's not a pre existing house. <coughs> There's no house. You're building a new house, but that's not a pre existing house. Under under uh, Chapter Forty, uh, because we're using a substantial uh, a substantial portion of the existing footprint, uh, it, it's it's considered an alteration of that building. Do you have a Title Five inspection on this? For, from, uh, so then the question uh, no, Kenny. So the question is, if you're worried about placement, which is not on that plan, right? Why isn't the pre-existing foundation on that plan? Or pre-existing structure, because you'd have to stay within those limits. The pre-existing structure is on. Okay. That's the yeah. box. Yeah. Yeah. If, 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 if yeah, you don't mind, let me let me give everybody. Uh, come on. Right, this is the. Uh, what well, you're looking at there is existing conditions. So there's existing. Uh, uh, this is the proposed. Existing camp is yep. what? Where's Here's it? a proposed. What's the size of existing proposed available existing. This is what we got. We, so we confirm with Mike that poll is the same way. Here's the poll. Put it out. Put it out. Okay. Good. Keep the poll for submission, right? For the next one we did this? When we submitted the proposed RDA? Yes. Yeah. So the town clerk has it. We don't have what we got. Oh, yeah. The town clerk has them. Yeah. Right. It was part of our application process. What's his name? Because he's not on either the ZBA or the conservation mission set. That's I, I know it sounds a little but not but that's not a house. Just because there's it there could have been an outhouse. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, of this goes back to Lincoln. And this is a house. Obviously it wasn't any problem with yeah. house because when they bought the property in two thousand and seventeen well, they would have had that. that out of a title five system put in the house. This is a but the writing goes one way. There's no relationship between those two. So it's like it against the seems so much bigger it's like this, what's there to talk about? So Kenny, are you with Tim? So I, re I read off the uh, the bylaw. It's not the one that Tim's talking about, but section six, the one that we're dealing with, the one that's on the application, the one that's applicable, section six, uh, section C1, pre-existing non-conforming structure, which that eight by 10 structure is, or use may be extended, altered, or changed. That really doesn't fall into that. If it doesn't violate uh, another Brookfield bylaw. Well, that's not even the issue. You're not extending that. You're just you're completely leveling it and putting a new structure. We're not usually utilizing the structure, but we're utilizing the footprint. And that, I think if you if you look at if you look at uh, that's way too big a stretch. I think that's a, a far stretch. What you want to look you want to look at uh, Diedrich versus ZBA Town so of I'm, Wayland, I'm, I'm and that's that's the precedent that we're going by. I'm, I'm going to recommend that we refer this to town council and uh, reconvene Perfect. once once we've gotten their opinion. Good. So can I entertain a motion to refer to town council and reschedule? Second. Do I have a motion? Right, I make a motion. Ken? Would have been a little different if we had this. Do we have a second? Second. You made the motion, Ken. Do I have a second? Anybody? Second. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> 
and reconvene. Do we want to pick a date now? I, I want to pick a date now, so we're going to have to repost it. Steve. Yes, sir. You know, somebody got, got a question? Yes, sir. Do a butters any of butters that are presently here uh, is notification here and it will be posted uh, by law in on our website but you'll know today ma'am mm -hmm. oh, I should put my stuff on my calendar, I put my calendar. I'm assuming they'll have an opinion a week do we want to do July 16th what day is that Tuesday, Tuesday a week from today I, I won't be able to be here. What about you? He's saying no, you can't. Right. We meet on the third Tuesday of the month, so. I can't do the 15th. Yeah. Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, we'll have to share the room or go, you know, into the. Well, we can, we can go somewhere else. We can go to the police station. He's got a conservation meeting then is what. Charlie, when can you show? Um, I can be, I'm available after that, anytime. That, that week, the 17th, 18th, 19th. Are you guys opposed to Wednesday, July 17th? Not a problem. Is there any meeting, other meeting scheduled for that day? I'm going to say Wednesday, July 17th. Um, I will look it up. If it is, I will request the police station. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it will be posted on the website. But as it stands now, the motion is to um, refer to town council and reconvene. Wednesday, July 17th at 6 p.m. here. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, guys. Thanks. See you next week. Do you hold on to those receipts now, or should I? I'm going to keep them. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Well, I'm going to close the public hearing and entertain a motion to adjourn at 618. Yeah. We have a motion. Adjourn at 618. Do we have a second? Do we have a second? Do we have a second to adjourn? Thank you, sir. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone. Can I steal that one from you? Yes. Yeah. I'm just looking hard. <laughs> it's a science. And this is not the same thing, I don't think. You want to hold on? This, has this is all you need because it's got yeah. the pre If we had to add it, I already got that. A little bit different. Well, obviously, I know Kenny has it. We're good. Thank you.